At 60s right now in San Francisco and the sea breeze you're about to see pretty incredibly how much this is making a big impact on our air quality coming up right now in San Jose. You got some hazy skies 79 degrees on our way. I think to seeing some uh, mid 80s towards the middle part of the week. A little bit of a warming trend headed our way around the Santa Clara Valley 90s in Livermore by midweek. We'll likely see mid to upper 90s making a bit of a comeback around the Tri Valley. We'll also eventually see more 90s around Walnut Creek. As you see, you can see some of the hazy skies out there currently at 87 degrees. And as we just showed you, San Francisco, a little bit of low clouds, as Terry mentioned, 65 degrees west wind at 15 miles per hour. So our air quality for tomorrow continues the theme low to moderate levels of smoke pollution higher for places like Lake County or the higher hilltops above 2500 feet. So literally the top of Mount Diablo or the higher peaks up around the North Bay still seeing a bit of that smoke. But look at the impact the sea breeze is having in terms of clearing out the smoke heading through the day tomorrow and look how fortunate we are here in the Bay Area. When you take a look at it this way, look at this little island of better air quality. Thanks to the strong sea breeze picking up during the afternoon. Most of interior Northern California is still going to have some air quality problems, but there comes that marine air push, sort of that wedge of cooler air, which helps to clear away the smoke from the Bay Area. So though the morning will begin with some hazy skies at times, we should be OK in terms of that denser smoke staying off to the east. Morning temperatures in the upper 50s to start could wake up to some drizzle along the coast, even around San Francisco and our highs tomorrow. Pretty close to what we had today. Low 80s around San Jose, more 90s out towards Concord and Livermore. Martinez about 89 degrees, San Francisco in the mid 60s and Oakland into the low 70s. But from here, we'll begin to see those valley temperatures around the North Bay and East Bay climb into the mid 90s. What might be more interesting is what comes our way Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. The green band you see passing there over the Bay Area. Some of that is monsoon moisture, which has been bottled up for a while in the desert southwest, but that may drift farther to the west as we head through the middle part of the week and why that's a concern. Obviously up towards the Dixie fire, they're going to see 100 degree temperatures early in the week, but we could see more lightning strikes associated with those thunderstorms, especially closer to the Sierra. What we'll need to watch here in the Bay Area is to see if any of that moisture drifts a little bit farther to the west. Right now looks like a main impact for the Sierra. Those showers also should produce rain in addition to those lightning chances, but uh, that's a bit of a change. Things have been relatively calm around the Sierra. Looks like things will start to get a bit more active towards the middle part of the week. San Francisco temperatures mostly in the upper 60s to near 70 as we approach next weekend. And here's a change in our inland temperatures beginning to see the climb upward into the low to mid 90s towards the end of the week. We'll be closely watching Thursday's forecast for those thunderstorms, which could be over the Sierra and Next weekend, Anthony, we got the uh, wow. Chiefs and 49ers preseason football coming to Levi Stadium. Looks like kickoff temperatures in the upper 70s. Nicer football. And of course, it's better news if we can keep the air quality looking.